And so thank you to everyone who invited me um, all the way from London. So I consider myself a commander-in-chief of a revolutionary movement to overthrow the oppressive systematic ideology of extrovert supremacy. And, and I'm on a never-ending world tour, and I won't stop until that ideology is overthrown. So I'm going to start by reading the six-point reparation program to um, uh, provide justice for shy, quiet, and autistic spectrum people. The world will not sing in perfect harmony. Nothing will be solved by extrovert people simply being, all right, how are you? How was your weekend? And other small talk microaggressions will not be registered as real concerns anymore until restitution. A blacklist of public spaces where service staff have told our people to cheer up will be drawn in cooperation with the enemy. Those cafes where we wish only to sit alone with a black coffee and the company of a good book. What else do you imagine a cafe is for? To establish profit and economic growth. We will seize every buck of every glossy cafe and with that every chain bar, chain pub. We will return cafes to their original asocial social functions for our people. Do not dare impose your feel-good ideology on us ever again. Repatriation and return to the homeland. Funds will be allocated towards establishing the Aspergistan state, sustaining our student bodies, universal pensions for the frail and elderly, underground networks, those who have suffered introvert hate crime and funding full-scale employment, arms and defence. Citizens not accorded full introvert rights are by natural right citizens of the Aspergistan state. No amount of co-option into the system will appease us. The co-option of introvert life into the studio, the studio introvert. Our styles of dress and life experience by the alternative indie music icons, indie cinema, the indie comic book and small press poetry industry will never heal this. This is mere social democratic appeasement for the introvert. Reform is not enough. All profits from marine transport, railways, highways, air travel, planes, parachutes and hot air balloons will be quietly directed via an actual right to return us to the prospective territories of the homeland state. Those funds will be used to build a system of underground tunnels, vaults and catacombs to return us homeward. We will only permit the future citizens of Asperghistan to travel home on the longest train journeys. Development and Rehabilitation Programme. The painful memories of high school have not left us. Our capacity for growth and development has been severely impaired since childhood through our relationships with others and through our student days. The boots were always firmly on our heads. Correctional compensation are sought on behalf of all shy, introvert and autistic spectrum peoples. This extends to all of us as survivors, descendants and victims of structural extrovert oppression the world over. Who can put a price on the emotion damage, personal disadvantage and underdevelopment these institutions have exposed us to? The extrovert class could not tolerate our so-called reserved natures, starting from the classroom into the office space, into the very structure institutions of so-called representative democracy. Every hype billboard in a public space as the extrovert world order plunders the earth. Ecological justice. The synthetic will be totally abolished. The authentic will prevail. We will create quiet parks, cosy indoor areas, fertile soils and fields. Flower shows and extrovert supremacist nation states will feature education on the fertilising effects of compost. Estate funded tree planting programmes will cover all public fields where raves and corporate festivals were held, returning them to the sacred woods where the constellations will be visible again, where the indigo of the night sky will be cherished by all. We are all victims of this violence. We do not stand alone. In perverted cases of fur coats, leather jackets, the abuse wrought on animals, their inner worlds are trampled over in the name of showing off. In the case of sports cars, and all luxury automobiles and transport, there is a daily compulsion to display that chokes the environment. Audiovisual systems are not safe, as vibrations of such systems extend into space beyond their intended range. Now, your people will be dependent on a delineated permission by the Shy Radicals commissionaries. Space and volume that have been violated in the previous tax-free oasis 
a halt has to be placed on the extrovert system perpetuating itself. Our intervention is also for their own good. Since their economy of emptiness, their engagement in a system of display and competition is a landslide to headlong mutual self-destruction. We will be glad to see the destruction of their people and we desire to save the earth and its resources from their thoughtless plunder. We will create healing environments where the birds can be heard to twitter, where the sound of the sea heals, where the full moon reflects perfectly on the river, where every citizen can dwell in caves and woods. All retrospective profit made by the pharmaceutical industry on the multi-billion industry of antidepressants, fluoroxetine, fluoroxetine and other uh, related chemical fixes will be taken and redirected towards <coughs> Aspergistan citizens. Aspergistan diplomatic representation will work in cooperation with movement lawyers in all extrovert <coughs> nations to reclaim money for its citizenry. We have every right to seize all assets underpinning the extrovert industrial complex. The establishment of peace. Closure. Closure after the establishment total emancipation to establish pasture, to establish places where we can be quietly alone, drink a cup of tea, read books on the sofa and go for a gentle walk. The entire process will be administered justly under the calculations of Sharia law judicial system. This is the only assurance we are prepared to give. There are only terms we will enter into treaty of peace. After liberation, there will be no one to speak up to. True liberation will come when we can just stare at the ground and be our own autonomous political representatives. This is natural justice. We are merely reclaiming what is ours, the right to life, space, quiet. We will move forward and establish peace under the cool shade of the Aspergistan flag. Full unconditional reparations for all shy peoples, for the heroic sulkers, for the bullied and dominated, for the torn and humiliated. The First Nations peoples of Aspergistan stand in solidarity with international calls for reparations for current and historical crimes and demands recognitions of the indignities we have suffered and puts forward the following six-point plan of action for reconciliation, reparation and justice. The popular girls may ignore us, but the demand for atonement festers on. Draw the curtains, don't let go. The shy radicals movement resolves Never get over it, get under it. The world is our corner. <laughs>